Characters, man. I'm just man. happy that these guys are on stream. So he has a plethora of characters, man. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get this match running away here. We have headed to Smashville, aka Starterville. Let's go ahead and get this right underway, man. We got a Charizard right now approaching with a very, very strong neutral game. Do you know if they've ever met in bracket before? Uh, I think this is their first time meeting in losers, if I'm not mistaken, or not losers, but winners. Excuse Win me. Winners. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. So. I really hate to see two prominent players like this go oh, yeah. at it right now so early on. But, hey, sometimes that's just how the computer sees you. So mm -hmm. it is what it is. So they, they probably both got pretty good middle seeds then if they're going against each other. Absolutely, man. And uh, right off rips, credit got going for a very good up smash. There is no sour spot on that. It just either it hits or it doesn't. Yeah. But right now, Charles are canceling it out with the rock smash. So very good options from both players right now early oh, yeah. on. Charizard's rock smash is so good. It really it has the potential to stop combos. Absolutely, man. It's really good habits to get on. Uh, oh, my goodness, to get uh, in familiar with early on in the bracket so you can uh, know what to do potentially if you head over to uh, winner's finals, grand finals, and things like that. And that up smash almost taking charge out. Thank God he's as heavy as he is. Oh, forward Aaron. Sending charge art clear across the stage. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Man, but that flare blitz, it is what it is, though. Oh, and then answers and he back comes with the forward. Back and takes, it, right. takes his stock. Where is your defense oh, at? Gosh. So much for milking it. Man, he got caught sleeping, dude. Right, I guess. That so happens yeah, sometimes. Took this stock, you know, Charizard's going to come back in. No, Charizard came back. Oh, no, Ike. Ike bad. came back. I was like, yeah, Ike came back. Yes. Took out Charizard. Ike is like, bro, I faced plenty of uh, crazier opponents than uh, some dragon. Mm -hmm. so I'm pretty sure I can slay a dragon now. Uh oh, so the jab. I love Ike's jab so much, man. It has a lot of priority, Dude, and Charles are getting it's caught just on that. So fast. Yeah. And Brawl used to be able to jab cancel across the stage with that. And Charles are getting caught on that top platform, unfortunately, getting punished with that, uh, excuse me, with that up smash. Oh, my goodness. Man, and again, uh, very good see, option from both. I don't, I don't know if he wants to take that, though, because that is only super armor, right? That's not invincibility, right? So he's, he's a still, super armor. So he's, so he's still taking the damage, right? Yes. And you want to know what's crazy, too, is that. Um, Ike, man, he's just one of those characters where he's he's super big and he's super slow, man, but a lot of his aerial moves come out super duper quick. He does a lot of fighting in the air. A lot of short hop into moves, man, or, or is where you want to where you want to be at with Ike. Oh, my goodness. Again, caught in those forward throws. And then also stage control is a really big thing with Ike, especially mm -hmm. because of uh, his, his recovery. You Absolutely. know, his recovery, he's going to go straight and down or he's going to go left and right. Oh, oh my goodness. And the fair. He said, I don't think your credit is that good, my dude. I didn't, I didn't see that coming in as a kill right there. I didn't know Charizard's fair uh, is that dangerous right there. I didn't think it was either. In yeah. the middle of the stage, man. Yeah. He just he didn't even have time to come back. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Rob the Dutch, and I'm sitting next to this lovely gentleman. His name is uh, That One Black Kid, and we are here today at HTC Tuesdays, put together by at Low Tier Legends. Um, man, I'm super excited, man, because after this, we got our uh, we got our monthly coming up pretty soon here, and we also got uh, got hypertension on the 28th of next month. So super excited, man. We got a lot of great things planned right now. All right, okay. match two. Where are we headed? We're going to Battlefield. Yep, absolutely. Oh, he's yep. bringing out that Wii Fit trainer. Right. Hope we get some platform control here, because I know the platforms in the last match has got Charizard punished quite a bit with those up smashes, oh, yeah, seeing how Char good. or excuse me, not Charizard, but Ice up smashes goes through the platforms and things like that. So one thing I really like about this stage is that on the end, if you're not careful or if you get caught on the re-grab, Charizard can spike you oh, just, yeah. just by stomping the ledge. So we're well, not stomping, but, you know, doing this yeah. there on the ledge. So be cautious. Be cautious of that Wii Fit, too. Yeah. I think Wii Fit causes people issues. Yeah. One, not too many people pay Wii Fit, so you don't get really that much practice fighting Wii Fit. Agree. And then also the weird hitboxes. Yeah. Agree. I don't, I don't think anyone ever truly understands the hitboxes of Wii Fit Trainer. Yeah. Unless you go and actually look them up. Absolutely. Hitboxes are super jank. Hitboxes are all over the place, man. Like, you can literally walk right up to Charizard and throw a forward smash and go right through them if you're not positioned properly, so... But then you'll hit him with the back of your kneecap or something. I know, right? And just send you flying. Got those jank swords, man, hitboxes. But, hey, it happens, though. I'm just glad she's here. And and, and he. There we go. go oh, my. with that Nair there. Oh, my goodness. And went for the spike early on. I don't know if you want to challenge that with Flare Blitz. Filling each other out. Oh, the down tilt. Oh, my goodness. And right now, Wii Fit Trainer's movement is impeccable right now. Has Charizard 
um, pretty much out of options right now. I would right say, now. yeah, he's pretty much not able to do anything at all right now. Yeah. He's just throwing him off with that movement. I think he truly does not understand the matchup. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hashtag, I didn't understand the matchup. He did not understand the matchup. Right. This is actually one of those, Ooh. oh, my goodness, and two spikes at the same time. I was about to say, man, they were both going for it there. Absolutely, man. One thing I really like about Kid is that using this big character, man, his patience game is really, oh, really yeah. insane. But unfortunately, right there, it wasn't. Got smacked with that back air. Yeah, that Nair just took out his, what, what is that sunlight ball? Sun salutation, my man. Oh, oh my good gosh. oh my god the, the get the vocals the, ready the unintentional well well no he's gonna call that intentional but yeah. a very unfortunate two stocking there absolutely some uh bad player there on the on the edge there yep 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 okay oh and it's like he's going next no more playing around he said i did what i had to do with that last character i got the two stock yeah. in I think Tarzard, uh, is going to have a pretty rough time with Ness. I feel that he probably will. Yes. Big body character. Yeah. He's going to get hit with those forward airs. Agreed. I don't know. Who, who's, uh, whose fire attack do you think is better, Ness's or Charizard's? I'm about to go with Ness on that, man. Charizard's runs out after a while, man. Ness oh, can do yeah. so much after that, especially if you're playing up against a, a not-skilled fighter. And they're not really knowing what they're doing with that PK fire. They don't know that oh, you can yeah. get DI you can, out of that. You, you or run in and get another punish in. Yeah, or just continuously keep doing PK fires. I mean, oh, if they yeah, don't know what works, they're doing. Yeah, if, if you do a PK fire, run again closer and throw another one, Yeah, you can follow that up. Absolutely. And uh, not too many people understand that when you get hit with a PK fire off stage, yeah. that PK fire will fall. Absolutely. And it will take jumps. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And the home run bat early on right now. Things you don't want to get hit with hashtag. Absolutely, man. So, are you playing in this tournament today? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, I always got to play, dude. Okay. I, w I wasn't sure. I, was, I thought you was hanging out with me all night. Whatever. Oh, no. It's cool, man. It's cool, man. I see how it is. It's man, cool. I got to be home before the streetlights come on, dude. I can't, I can't stay out and play all day. Understandable. Understandable. And the Flare Blitz dude, taking flare out blitz, Ness man. early on. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Kit knows something. Whoop. Well, he does play with Micah, and Micah plays Ness. Absolutely, so man. he probably knows this matchup like the back of his hand. Yes. Ooh. Oh, now nah, we live in, bro. My DI man, game and rage is too strong. To, ooh, that was a very yep. dangerous recovery, though. Agreed. Absolutely. Going with the Flare Bliss to come back to the stage. Absolutely, man. It's always scary, man, when people start nerding out those low tiers. And the fair man. off the edge will do it. And just like that, just at a comfortable 16%, pretty much even game for the most part, so. See, and, this, and the story of that right there, yep. that, that's unsafe options. Dot com. He did multiple flare blitzes in a row. Yes. And he did a great job DIing to come back, mm -hmm. and I feel like he wasted it. He Absolutely. didn't add on any damage. Flare blitz kind of falls into the category of, like, super armor. Like, it's cool, but you also take damage, too. So, oh, I mean, yeah. yeah, it's a good trade off. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. Three in a row? Three fairs in a row, and just like that, Ness is in full control of this Look game. All these life's not fair, man. Life's Absolutely. Not fair. Take just, him to the county fair. <laughs> just, just ask Charizard. Right. Charizard's a pretty good fair, too, though, so don't don't get it twisted. Oh, yeah. Charizard has a nice little down throw to forward air as well. Yes. The dash attack, and just like that, is pretty much even out for the most part. They got to also be cautious of, cautious of this low ceiling here on the stage, as it is the lowest ceiling in the game. An up throw, an up smash, an up air, anything right now from Charizard can oh, yeah. potentially take Ness out if he charges it in the right manner. Ooh. Oh, my goodness, nice, it misses the PK nice missile. Nice job spot dodging that there because his shield was winding down there. Dude. Absolutely, man. Shout out to <laughs> Patch 1.12 where Sakurai and shields don't get along. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, oh my goodness. I actually think Micah might be a little more comfortable right now than... Micah? Than, uh, no, why do I keep saying Micah? I'm Are, looking at Ness and I'm thinking about Micah. Yeah, man. But I think Kit might be a little more comfortable... In this situation. Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. Well, never mind. We there. don't take those. Gosh. Oh, my goodness. Well, That's what, how it goes. Well, what I was thinking 